I literally have my tripod on my bed right now. Look, look at this. This is so stupid. Anyways, let's get this. How did your parents react to your success and what do they think about you doing content? They didn't really have much of a reaction. When I told them about my social media, they were concerned that I would be a no job degenerate. My major was mechanical engineering, but I decided I kinda wanna be a dancer instead and a content creator. So then my mom was like, no, G get a real job. So then when I finally showed her my numbers on social media, she was like, oh, cool, okay. Why is bro so cool? Thank you. I'm not that cool. What keeps you motivated to keep pushing videos, reels, shorts? I know what I want to do for my long-term goal, and I've always wanted to be a dancer slash content creator. So I keep posting in hopes that I will become successful. How old are you? I'm 24. Yeah, I'm kind of old. How tall are you? 165 centimeters. I'm tall. I have tall energy. Are you single? Yes. For 24 years. Yes. Next question. Will you ever start a dance group or something like that? That sounds really fun, but at the same time, that takes a lot of effort and time and leadership skills and all that. I would like to join one or maybe start one, but right now I'm focused on training and practicing and creating content. Favorite book story you heard as a child? Favorite book? What is my favorite book? Do I even read? Does manga count? Do, do light novels count? I'm gonna go for a light novel, so I'm gonna say Mushoku Tensei. I got tons of questions on dance, so I'll just bunch it all together into this huge dance comment, I guess. I started in 2019, and it all started from a summer rave. Me being an introvert, I actually didn't want to go to that rave for a long, long time. My friends kept trying to invite me out to go hang out with them and party and go rave. I decided to give it a try. And when I went there, it was, it was an experience, I would have to say. It was actually fun, you know? It was fun. And also like, I tried to shuffle, I tried to dance, just like how the other people were at the rave. However, my friend was recording me and then showed me after the event. And I saw how bad I shuffled. Like I, I wasn't even doing the running man properly. I was so bad at shuffling and just dancing overall. Like I had fun, but at the same time, I had really shitty dancing. So after seeing that video, I made an oath that I would practice every single day because I would never want to embarrass myself again like that. Do you have any hobbies? I feel like you would be dancing and doing other stuff. Hugs. Don't hug me. My other hobbies actually include cooking, watching anime, playing games, ice skating, not too often, gaming again. I also have a, I have a flippy knife. Hang on, I got it somewhere, hold on. Check this out, check this out. Who are you? I'm Zenoji. I'm your favorite shuffler. How is the money, brother? Not a lot, really. Content creators don't actually make a lot of money. Most of their revenue is usually from long form videos and sponsors slash brands. I just make free tutorials. I don't sell them. And I don't think I'll intend to sell my tutorials because I'm not a professional dancer. I don't feel it's right for me to teach people and sell classes or sell tutorials. But until I do, everything's free. Subscribe. Do you teach dance online? Unless you're talking about like online coaching classes? No. What were the hardest steps you learned? The running man, which is like the most basic shuffle of shuffling. It took me at least one month to actually learn the, the steps, get the coordination for it, and also get it on beat. The hardest thing is really just getting started with any move. Now, Every other move is generally easy as long as I take some time to practice it and understand like the technique behind it. Do you like anime? Yes, I do. My favorite actually is Kimi no Nawa, Your Name by Makoto Shinkai. Will you ever make merch? What kind of merch would I make? But do I, do I sell my socks? You get, you guys, you guys want my, nah, I'm just playing. Tutting tutorial when? I can't tut. I'm a shuffler. I can do footwork. Well, why would you think I could do arm work? Ask me for a football tutorial, I'll do that. How do you like your steak? Medium rare. Does size matter? No, I think it's about how you use it. I wouldn't know though. Are you gonna watch One Piece? Isn't that shit like a thousand episodes? How the f Who has the time for that? Do you like coffee? Yeah, 
I'm on like five cups of coffee right now. I have caffeine almost every single day. I actually overload on that shit. Coffee every day, before I go to gym, pre-workout, and also before I dance. I take an energy drink. Is the music you dance to the same as the music you listen to? Actually, no. The only music style that like shuffle is associated with is essentially EDM. I don't think people can really shuffle to classical music or, or country or, or anything that doesn't have like bass. That's just weird. Anyways, I like to listen to video game soundtracks, anime openings, ending, J-pop, J-E-D-M, bossa nova, jazz, house, a whole lot of the genres. I, I like music. I think it's probably that's why I got into dance. There are so many great dancers out there, but they couldn't get there. How did you do this? Well, there are great dancers and there's great content creators. Being a good dancer does not mean you're a good content creator. I was able to grow both my dance skills and my content creation skills and understand how to make good dance content. A lot of people can just watch my tutorials even if they're not a dancer. Whereas these dancers, when they post content, this content is really just made for themselves or for other dancers. How do you feel getting 1 million subs? Pretty cool, I guess. I could do better. Could you maybe change the timing of your live streams? When I do have more time in the future, I might adjust my live stream time. I do stream on Twitch, by the way, guys. I dance live on Twitch or I just chat like this so you guys can see more of me. Yeah. Do you intend on a career in performance or dance? What's your journey been like with regards to that? So when I first started dancing, I intended to become the best shuffler out there. That, that sounds corny, I know. But then after taking a bunch of dance classes as of now and understanding the path to professional dance is actually very, very steep and it takes a lot of time, dedication, money, effort. Maybe in the future, you'll probably see me at competitions, maybe on show, who knows? I don't even know. I just know I just keep practicing hard until I get somewhere. Dude, where did you get that accent from? It's so pure. I have an accent? I don't have an accent, right? Does this sound like an accent to you guys? How is it like making dance tutorials? And do you feel nervous performing in front of the camera sometimes? It's generally easy. I just run in front of the camera, like I just dash into like the frame. I do my dance for like 20 seconds and then I exit. Super fast, super easy, I don't even talk. However, I do get nervous in front of the camera when I'm talking like this. Do you plan on doing longer shuffle videos like tutorials, vlogs, etc. instead of posting mainly shorts? Making longer tutorials is just something I've never explored because it took me a long time to actually understand short form content. Nearly a year of trial and error. But now, since I have a YouTube and I've hit 1 milli, yay! That's why I'm doing this Q&A. Now people want like longer form tutorials. However, I'm not too sure how to make long form tutorials. Do I have to talk and dance at the same time? Like that's a lot of work. How do you train your stamina for dancing? Do you just dance a lot? Dancing a lot does increase your stamina, but there's other ways of increasing your stamina. On the side, I do jump rope. I started jump roping maybe when I started dancing. How do you like your eggs? Sunny side up with steak. Steak and eggs, oh, damn. What inspired you to start making vids and making dance videos? Well, firstly, I wanted to become a content creator and just have everyone look at me, I just wanted the attention. But then I realized over time, as I was scrolling through TikTok and YouTube, that there isn't a lot of shuffle tutorials out there that actually have concise information or teach people properly. There is some, but overall, shuffle dance itself is lacking resources online. That, that's the end, that, that's all my questions. Oh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna head out, bye guys. <laughs> Are you aware you would be significantly more popular as a gay bottom than you are trying to find a straight partner? Yes. Yes, I am.